I just got back from spending New Year's in Florida, and there were alligators just laying around over there. Just huge lizards laying in people's yards and in the water next to busy streets and gas stations. Florida is whack as hell. The alligator is about as close as one can get to seeing a modern day dinosaur. Early alligator ancestors appeared more than 200 million years ago. The name alligator probably comes from el lagarto, the Spanish term for the lizard, which early Spanish explorers and settlers in Florida called the alligator. There are currently two species of alligator left in the world, the American alligator and the Chinese alligator. Unfortunately, the Chinese alligator is extremely endangered as there are only about 120 of them left in the wild. Alligators are cold-blooded, carnivorous, and only live in fresh water. American alligators average around 13 feet in length and weigh about 800 pounds, but can grow even larger. The largest verified alligator was 17 foot 5 inches long and weighed over 1,000 pounds. Though it was never caught, the largest alligator ever to be seen and recorded was in 1890 in Marsh Island, Louisiana. It measured 19 foot 3 inches and weighed in at about 2,000 pounds, but because this was the late 19th century, it was not a very reliable measurement. The Chinese alligator is far smaller in comparison and usually averages between 5 and 7 foot and weighs around 80 to 100 pounds. The largest ever was 7 foot 1. The average lifespan for American alligators is about 50 years old, but the oldest gator was Muja, who reached 85 years old. Gators can regrow parts of their tail like many other reptiles. A group of alligators is called a congregation. Alligators are actually the loudest reptiles in the world. Their roars can actually reach 90 decibels, about as loud as a lawnmower, while human vocalizations typically max out around 70 decibels. Here's what they sound like. An alligator's sex is not determined by DNA, but rather by climate. If the temperature in the baby alligator nest is warm, male alligators are born, while if the temperature is cool, the babies will be female. Alligators can run up to 35 miles per hour, they have glow-in-the-dark eyes, and their teeth constantly regrow. They go through an average of 3,000 teeth in a lifetime. Gators perform the death roll when they get their prey into their jaws to either rip off portions of meat or to kill the animal. Let's go on to crocs now. Crocodiles and alligators have many similarities. Like gators, they are also carnivorous, cold-blooded reptiles. However, crocodiles can be found in both fresh and salt water. There are 14 species of crocs, which vary in lifespan between 35 and 75 years and vary considerably in size. The smallest, the dwarf crocodile, grows to an average of 4 foot 10 in length and weighs about 40 to 70 pounds. The largest crocodile is the saltwater crocodile, which can grow up to 23 feet and weigh between 2,200 and 2,600 pounds. Saltwater crocs have the strongest bite force ever measured at 3,700 psi. Crocodiles usually live between 35 and 75 years, with the oldest being a Nile crocodile named Henry, who is 122 years old. Crocodiles are much more aggressive than alligators and have an average of around 1,000 human deaths per year compared to the paltry one per year that gators have. They also go through about 4,000 teeth per lifetime. An easy way to tell the difference between a croc and a gator is when a crocodile closes its mouth, all teeth are visible, versus an alligator who covers its teeth. Another key difference is in snout shape. Alligators have a wider U-shaped snout, while crocodiles are more pointed and V-shaped. Crocodiles and alligators don't sweat. To keep cool, they open their mouths to release heat, which is very similar to panting. If you see a croc or gator like this, do not be afraid. He's just being cool. They both swallow small stones to improve digestion. These stones help grind up food in the stomach. The stones also add weight, which allows them both to stay underwater longer. Crocodiles have the most acidic stomach of any vertebrae because of all the wacky stuff they eat. This allows them to digest bones, hooves, horns, or shells from their prey. Because of this, a crocodile's metabolism is super efficient, using and storing nearly the entirety of the food it consumes. In extreme circumstances, they are able to shut down and live off of their own tissue for a long period of time. In fact, larger crocodiles can go over a year without eating a single meal. Crocodiles are very intelligent. They have actually learned to balance branches on their head to lure in birds. The expression to cry crocodile tears derives from crocodiles shedding tears while they eat their prey. Crocodiles do cry when they eat, but it is actually a physiological response to clean their eyes while they feed. That's enough about crocs, now let's move on to caiman. I would say these boys are basically just junior alligators, but that's not entirely true. 
Certain caiman species can be quite small, reaching only 6 foot 6 and weighing 88 pounds. However, the black caiman found in the Amazon can grow to a length of 14 foot and weigh around 1,300 pounds. That's larger than alligators. Caiman can also live in both salt and freshwater environments and have an average lifespan of 20 to 40 years. There was a prehistoric caiman that used to have a bite force unparalleled to any modern animal. The Purosaurus lived about 8 million years ago, was over 40 feet long, and weighed about 8.4 tons. I guess you could say he came in like a wrecking ball. Yeah! Last up are gharials. I'd never even heard of these things before this video, so I guess I learned something. Male gharials typically reach 15 to 20 feet and weigh about 2,000 pounds. Females are generally smaller, usually growing between 11 to 15 foot. I don't know if you can tell, uh, but gharials have a slightly different snout than the other crocodilians. It looks like it got squeezed by the fist of a baby who hasn't learned to let go of things yet. Gharials are the only crocodilian where males and females look different. When males reach sexual maturity, they develop a cartilaginous knob at the tip of their snout. This bulbous nasal protuberance resembles an Indian earthenware pot known as a gara. This word was misread by Europeans as gavial, hence the species is also known as both gharial and gavial. Males will use their garas to blow bubbles and produce a buzzing sound during the courting phase. This action is known as bubbling. Like all crocodilians, gharials are often killed for their skin. However, their eggs were garas were also believed to have medicinal properties. Gharials and crocodiles in general are revered as a vehicle of the gods in Hindu mythology and are associated with existence and fertility. Crocodiles are also seen in the Hindu calendar and represent the 10th of the 12 lunar months. Gharials lay the biggest eggs and have the most teeth of all the crocodilians. Gharials often feed on weak or sick fish in the river. While they don't hunt humans, they are known scavengers and will often eat the occasional dead body. As part of a Hindu custom, corpses are often sent down the Ganges River. Gharials take advantage of this and often get themselves an easy meal. They help keep the fish population healthy and keep river systems free from contaminants in the water. Thus, they are indicators of a clean river system. Unfortunately, gharials are critically endangered with only about 1,500 of them left in the wild. Crocodilians are a wild bunch of creatures. Have you guys ever had any experiences with them? Held a baby gator? Seen a wild gharial? Had a crocodile eat your dog? Let me know in the comments down below. Thanks for watching. Be careful in Florida. And as always, don't be a dumb fork, be a smart spoon. Thank you.